What's up, traders? It's Mark Sebastian, your only option, and this is the Trader's Edge. Today, we're going to wrap up what just happened with the FOMC, how the markets reacted. We're going to talk about AMD and App, Amazon. I'm going to prep you for uh, Apple, and I'm going to talk to you about non-farms, and uh, we'll hit on a couple uh, of our, uh, our nice trades this week. So let's dig in. So what a day for the S&P 500. Look at how crazy this candle is. It ran all the way to the 21 day moving average. Look at this range. The low of the day on Wednesday was 550.11. The high was 50.96.12. Just an absolute, so like an over $80 to $80 range. Now, what did I tell you guys uh, uh, over the weekend? Strangles are too cheap. Strangles are too cheap. Strangles are too cheap. In Trading Desk, we bought the 511 put and the 513 call. This morning on the open, I sold, I paid, I paid, I put out an order to pay 925. I ended up paying $9.10 for my strangle. This morning, I sold just the put at $9.80. Then on the huge pop we got in the afternoon, I sold the call at 285. That's what I call taking advantage of implied volatility being too cheap, not properly priced. Uh, so what I will tell you is this is bad. All right. I don't think Apple earning, I mean, tomorrow on Thursday, I expect the market to be lower. Um, Apple maybe can bail out things, but I doubt it. Um, the outlook, uh, you know, aside from non farms, which will be Friday and, and maybe those can save us, but the outlook is really bad. Why? AMD, just an awful, awful, awful earnings report. Market was pricing in uh, about a uh, 7% move, and it dropped more than 10%. Just an absolute bloodbath. Why is AMD so important? Why am I telling you it's more important than Amazon and Apple? Because there have been two narratives that drove this market, rates and AI. Rates are not going lower. Buckle up, folks. There is no way the Federal Reserve is dropping rates. I know I've said it already. I'm telling you again, it isn't going to happen. So the rate narrative is gone. What's the other narrative? AI is going to cause this booming growth. Well, AMD outside of NVIDIA is the AI name for chips. And this is the reaction they get on their earnings. The other, bi the other big AI name that came out, um, Super Microcomputer, absolutely destroyed. Um, I think super microcomputer is going to head back toward its old range. I'd be looking for it to potentially go to the 100 day moving out or the 200 day all the way down to $486. Stock looks terrible. Um, now the Qs, they don't look that different from the, uh, SPX, except they're below the 100 day moving average for the second day in a row, another red candle. If we get some selling, boy, a break below 400, that would be bad. Apple could, could cause that because, uh, you know, so far, no good on earnings. We've had decent ones out of Amazon, but that didn't get a big reaction. It's up four. Uh, we've had bad ones out of Meta. Microsoft had good ones. They sold it right back. And Google looks soft too after um, not being able to carry through on its rally. So, so far, the earnings season has been a massive disappointment. Can Apple save the market? I don't know, and I don't think so. Um, they're not really a part of this whole AI craze. Market's only looking for about a 3.7% move. Um, so I'm not expecting a lot of, of craziness out of Apple, but if they can knock the socks off, maybe they can save the market, but I doubt it. Now, lastly, we have non-farm payrolls on Friday. Take a look at what happened with rates. They initially went up uh, on the Fed news and then sold right back off. Watch TLT, folks. If you don't have TLT on your ticker board, you are not knowing what the market is doing. This is the narrative that has taken down markets since April. Take a look. Notice that 
since April 1st, when TLT topped out, it's just been down straight down. Put TLT on your ticker, follow it. If TLT is selling off and selling off with some speed, the market is going to follow. Bonds are the dog, the market is the tail. Uh, so heading into non-farms, the option markets are pricing in a, a pretty decent move. Uh, we're looking at, meh, call it about 58 bucks. So over 1%. I don't think that's such a great deal. But if I go back to May 13th, uh, the market is now pricing in 100 bucks. That's a little bit more fair. Remember, I bought this, this May 13th straddle for 910 on Monday. It's now trading 100. Cheap vol. Pay attention when I tell you vol is cheap, folks. All right. Speaking of things to pay attention to, on Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern time, Leash and I are going to go through pitchforks, how we trade pitchforks out of earnings, and also a little bit about how we use them in the markets. All right, everybody. I am Mark Sebastian. I am your only option. I'll be back soon.